Welcome back to the Gaming Co-op. Today on 40k Goals, our triumphant return after what was almost two weeks off, I'm talking to you about what we've got done and what we're working on. Uh, there was a bunch of layoffs at my spot that I work at, so things have been up and down as far as that goes, so I haven't been able to get as much hobby done as I was hoping for. But as you can see, let's start with our plane. This is what we've been working on gradually, plucking away. Uh, it's all primed up and ready to go. It's got a ton of bomb options, gonna leave the panels off, all that kind of stuff. Got the pilot, this was the hardest part, deciding what head to use. He's all ready to go, got his little uh, cockpit there too. So we're gonna like paint sections as we go and then assemble accordingly. Got a great paint scheme in mind for the flyer actually, so I can't wait to get that worked on. And then uh, what else do we got going on here? We have the gunner for the truck. This is the last component that we are missing, except for, and this is the uh, ball turret for the back of the jet. Uh, our gunner, I'm kind of stalling on painting because I'm having a debate in my mind whether or not to take this turret out on the truck that we finished up because as you can see, there is some freehand GH there. You can maybe see the A as well in the background there. Uh, I painted uh, freehand WA graffiti across it, very similar font to like the uh, the get out gets in the trunk, but <laughs> I didn't block it out right. So when I put the turret in, it covered up the, uh, the W and two of the other A's. So I'm debating taking that out, but then we don't have a spot to place the, uh, the wrecking ball, but I guess I could always like fix it to the back. So it's like kind of a trailing piece, who knows? Anyway, so this was done up with our standard way, painting pieces as we go. Everything was primed white, except for the metallics, which were primed with uh, lead belcher, the GW spray. Uh, and then all that was done up accordingly. So had a lot of fun building this one. Um, looks like we're gonna be getting another truck kit soon. So I don't know if I'm gonna buy another one of these, but because uh, I wanted to run three trucks with shooter boys because I thought that was a great way of getting up and taking objectives for, for decently cheap. Anyway, so I'm getting away from uh, doing as much like Agrax like darkness to the models. You can see like I've kept some of the dark areas where they should be. We've got the naloxone kind of rust paint there, that drug sounding paint that's really great at contrasting with orange. Uh, so we're keeping the kind of bubble gum, like really bright neon orange on some of those smart spots. And then where it should be dirty, it's dirtier. And then we've got our neon orcs. So yeah, everything here done with contrast and uh, a couple washes and a dry brush. Really happy with how he's turned out. So that's kind of what we got done. Uh, so apart from that, the other model that I talked about getting done was the war boss with his huge banner. But unfortunately, they now say uh, that we're going to have a war boss and mega armor. He's a really big bottle compared to a regular boy already. So I was thinking what I would do is wait and see when the codex release comes out because I want this guy to be a centerpiece. I want him to be really attractive. I want to actually be able to use him. So I'm gonna hold off for now uh, on finishing him up because I might be attaching more stuff to him to bulk him out. He's almost at mega armor status anyway because he's got a bunch of like metallic, uh, like electricity bits. I gotta add some wires and stuff. But yeah, so I'm gonna put him on hiatus for the next little while until we get the codex. And I have a sneaky suspicion that uh, the current war boss model on the Games Workshop website, that old metal one might be resin now, is probably gonna be going into Legends and they'll wanna push the Mega Armor variant, which means this guy would be illegal uh, at competitive play. Sucks, cause I just clipped off right before I primed him his uh, big choppa and replaced it with this uh, power claw. So we'll see how that goes. I'll make him accordingly into whatever he needs to be. If that ends up being a war boss and mega armor, I'm more than happy to do that. Add some more plastic, some thick, like thick them out, just make him a big scary boss again. Add a couple exhaust pipes, that kind of thing, and then go from there. So that's what we've been working on. That's what we've got coming down the pipes. Uh, I'm not setting any like firm goals for this week because things have been crazy with layoffs and stuff. And now they're recalling us, who knows what's actually happening with that. So yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you're working on this week. If you have any goals, are you getting out to events? I know we've got a large constituents of American viewers. And uh, if so, let me know. Is it great down there? I can't wait to get back to some gaming again. Uh, so that's kind of my hopes for the future here. So this has been 40K Goals. Let me know down in the comment section below what you are working on. And as always, we will see you next week with more goals, hopefully. I got more videos coming down the pipe too, but stay tuned for that. Cheers for now.